sets us. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we had our downs as well. Any part of God's part of your life. But as Brother Tech reached his 30th anniversary last year, fans across the world were asking the question what is the future of Brother Tech? That is what we are here to discuss today. And it begins with the Robotech.com website. The Robotech.com website you all know and love has died. What? Uh, we killed it. And we replaced it with a new website. In addition, we've spun off the Robotech store into a separate platform, www.therobotechstore.com. It's on the My Shopify platform. We have better navigation and search functions. We also have a new shipping option for 10 pounds or less. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we take all major credit cards. Well, what, good is this? what good is having a store? What good is having to take all major credit cards without new merchandise? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have new merchandise, starting with the plushies. Yes, yes the plushies are now available in the Robotech.com. Plus, we have new line of blind box figurines. These have sold so well, Toyami has released a new series of blind box figurines, and these are now available in the, at the robotechstore.com. In addition, we have the new 1-100 scale, fully transformable armored bear text in the Roy Fokker variant, the Rick Hunter variant, and the Max Sterling variant. They are available now at the robotechstore.com. These are using the heavy armor, ladies and gentlemen, and they are fully transformable as well. Plus, we have a new license called Custom Wall Scrolls. We know a lot of you have been asking us for the Robotech art assets in wall scroll format, including classic artwork, new artwork by Tommy Yu, and other artists. In addition, we have Robotech music. <laughs> Robotech EPs, Woo. We Will Win, and George Sullivan EPs. Remember the EPs from back like in the 90s? Pesh Mode into like 12 different versions of Enjoy the Silence. We have like 12 different versions of We Will Win and It's You. They're available now at therobotechstore.com and CD. Plus, the 30th anniversary soundtrack CD 3 disc collection is now available. Over 115 tracks, including alternate tracks, digital remastered about 24 track master tapes, extensive liner notes, and it's in stock and now shipping. But many of you are asking, but Kevin, we live in the digital age. This is physical media. What about it being available for digital downloads from my iPod? The answer is yes. It's available on CD Baby, Amazon.com, Google Play, and iTunes. You can buy it as individual tracks or as the entire album. Just Google, just put in Robotech either on CD Baby, Amazon.com, or iTunes, and it'll take you right to there. All, all tracks for all the 30th anniversary are available now as digital download. Legally, too, but it seems to be better. What about apparel? Well, we have a new t shirt license, ladies and gentlemen, and they are called 80stees.com. <laughs> yep. And 80stees has a new line of Robotech t shirts, including these. If you go to 80stees.com slash Robotech, you can order these right now. And these. And these. And they have this new t-shirt available as well. If you use the discount code pre-order20 to score 20% off, right now on the pre-order, go to www.80stees.com slash Robotech. In addition, we have a new apparel license called Bait. They make t-shirts, sweatshirts, and ladies and gentlemen, the answer is true. There are Robotech skateboards available right now. Here they are. You can order them right now from our new license called Finesse. Plus, a new line of Robotech action figures. We're expanding our licensing, ladies and gentlemen. We have a great new license called Kids Object. And they're creating a new line of high-end Robotech figures. Here's the first prototype. You want to see some more photos? Yeah. yeah. How's that? Awesome. These will be out later this year. These are highly pulsable. It's a little tough to probably tell them that, but it's an actual cloth that the rich uniform wearing as well. We're really excited to work with Kids Logic. They're very, they're also really pumped to work on Robotech. 
Now, a lot of you have been asking me saying, Tab, come on, I want more toys. I mean, this is great, right? But I want more toys. I want toys that can transform, don't you? Yeah. 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 Well, in the Robotech pipeline, we have signed a new toy license. And this is an exclusive, folks. You're going to be the first ones to see it outside of Harmony Gold. This is the first toy they can show. We've signed three new licenses, including high-end figure licenses, expansion of the toy, toy, uh, convention tour, and a full-range toy license. What do you mean by full-range toy license? Here it is. <laughs> Fully transformable VF1, high level of articulation, high die cast metal content, LED lighting, and it arrives in the second half of 2016. So why stop with Roy Fogan and Skull Eater? Yeah. We have this as well. So just you're the first you're the first people to see this outside of Harmony Gold. We have a prototype in our office. It is phenomenal. It's you're gonna love this new toy license, folks. It's really amazing. So why is all this happening, you're asking? I mean, I was asking, well, Kevin, it's great. We have all this new toy licensing, all this new t-shirt licensing. What's going on? Well, folks, a couple of things. Number one is the 25th anniversary of Robotech's debut in China. Robotech is very popular in China, and we're getting a new wave of licensing coming out of that country. Plus, the live-action Robotech movie. Yeah. Seven, starring Brad Pitt, 
From Dusk Till Dawn, starring George Clooney. Mm -hmm. The Departed, yeah. starring Leo DiCaprio, yeah. Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, and Mark Wahlberg. Shutter Island, starring Leo DiCaprio. Mm -hmm. 300, and 300, Rise of an Empire. Now, Gianni's recorded a message for you all. Would you like, would you like to see it? Yeah. All right, here it is. <laughs> Comic Con fans, how are you? I'm sure you guys are great. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to really promise that, uh, I mean, first of all, I'm sorry I couldn't be there. We're working on the fantastic uh, Robo Fett project. I want to thank Frank and Grandma, who is the guy who kept uh, Robo Fett in life for all these years. Uh, my partner, Mark Cantor, as you know, who is always there for me. Uh, the team behind is uh, incredible. Uh, a filmmaker like James Wan, he uh, doesn't need any presentation, he's awesome. Michael Gordon, uh, who's writing right now, and, uh, and, uh, and again, myself, uh, the studio Sony, cannot be better than that. I can't wait to be here with you. I can't wait to show you what we're doing. I hope to surprise you in the best way we can in 2016 at Comic Con again. Bye, ciao. Woo. <laughs> so, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Gianni and Mark have a proven track record of getting things done in Hollywood, and we are very excited to be working with them. We've had them over at the Harmony Gold offices, we've sat them down, we've explained what Robotech is, they're very excited to be working on the franchise. You're probably asking, you have a producer, that's great. Who's writing with them? Who's the writer of Robotech? Well, we've hired a writer, his name is Michael Gordon. We're saying, well, what's Michael Gordon doing in this? Well, Michael's worked on, has written such films <coughs> as G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. Nice. And is the writer of 300. And he's a huge Robotech fan, folks. Which is a little secret. He, came, he used to run home from school every day to watch the show as well, just like you all did. In addition, he came with Harmony Gold. He's like, he saw a plushie, he's like, I want a plushie. So he came from a plushie too. He's a really big fan of Robotech. He's met with some of the fans at San Diego Comic Con. He really wants to make sure he writes a good Robotech movie that is true to what the show is. Now, you're asking yourselves, Kevin, you have the writer, you have the producer, but who is going to direct? Do you want to know who the director is? Yeah. Okay, good. Because the directors direct such films as Saw, Insidious, <laughs> The Conjuring, and a film called Furious Seven. His name is James Wan. He is the director of the live action Robotech movie. Now, you all know, folks, a live action Robotech movie is going to cost a lot of money. You need a major studio that knows what they're doing to back it. Who is the studio now backing the live action world? Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sony Pictures. <laughs> so as you can see, we have new merchandise, new licensing, an A-list writer, producer, and director. Oh, studio and Sony Pictures to bring Robotech to fans worldwide. As Carl Masek said, the best is yet to come. But now I want to hear it from you folks. I want to hear what you have to say. I have the mystery box, and the mystery box is full of prizes. As oh, the hands are going up. Yes, in the red. Um, I have three questions. All right. Um, let's see. First off, <laughs> well, you know, I, just so you have three questions, I'm going to give you right out of the gate a Robotech sweatshirt. So this is pulled outside. Ooh. And there you go. Okay, so what's your question, my friend? Which, where, let's answer them one at a time. What's your first question? Um, what it is, uh, is Robotech going to be seeing any sequels for the anime in the future? Yes. Once we get the uh, deal done with Sony, this deal with Sony is incredibly large. We're ironing out the final deal points right now. Once we get that done, then we can focus on animal robotech. What's your second question? Uh, do you know who's going to be playing the main character in the movie? It is too early to talk about casting just yet. My little world is right now focusing on the main screen. And my third question, do you know what inspired Robotech? What inspired Robotech? Yes. You mean for Harmony Gold to make the show? Yeah. Money. 
Money. <laughs> so this is, that's not a business question. You have to remember, little, little, this is actually a good question. Back in the 1980s, folks, in 1980, before, there was a show called He Man and Masters of the Universe. Remember that? And that was the show that launched the afternoon primetime of animation. And then Voltron came out in 1984, and people went, my God, they love these animated shows from Japan. Hey, I wonder what other anime shows from Japan are out there. And so Harmony Gold took the three shows, they hired Carl Mason, because they talked about before the panel, and they made Robotech. And the rest was history. So, great questions. Okay, over here, sir, in the back of the hand up. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, I know Blade Books has the licensing um, for the role-playing game, mm -hmm. but that didn't seem that they still maintain that. They still maintain the Robotech role-playing game license. So I'm going to give you a Robotech sweatshirt. So, all right. So let's see. Over here, sir. Right here. Yep. Will you ever release any of the Macross Macross is after the Macross derivatives? Yeah. Who are Frontier? The new Delta? Yeah. The question is just so you know, I'll repeat the question. Will we release will Harmony Gold release the Macross derivatives from Japan? Right now we have no comment on the Macross derivatives at this time. But I can make it up for you. I'm going to give you a 2016 rough to calendar. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yes. Uh, question of the coffee. Uh, first, of, uh, first of all, what other uh, anime did Harmony Gold try to dump? And, um, well, let, 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 me, let, me, let me take on that question first. What other anime did Harmony Gold dub? Uh, actually, we dubbed the Megazone 23 Part 2. Back in the 1980s, we also did Dragon Ball Z and Captain Marvel. But what happened was, was that Harmony Gold lost the rights to them, and they're now with other companies. I've also heard uh, some uh, Mute King that didn't take. I'm sorry. A, a show called Mute King that didn't take. It's a Japanese show about um, a guy who gets superpowers from a octopus, and he's a becomes a. Um, Roller skating disco superhero. Also the best kind of superhero. I will check. I will check. It's like very lost. It was only done in the pilot, and it's um, something I've heard happen in the past. I will. I will. I will check when I get I back. I also know the uh, Doctor Slump one. Okay. I will check when I get back and see if we work on the show. So I'm gonna give you a it's uh it's you EP. There we go. All right, sir. It was um Grandizer inspired by Robotech. Was Grand Dodger inspired by Robotech? What year did it come out? I forget. I said, I, 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 that, I, don't, I don't know. So you know what I'm going to do? Answer? I'm going to give you a rough expression. How's that sound? All right. Sir. Sir, 
April 1997 was a very hard year for me, let me just say that. I, I, I was there when I was a season ticket holder, and I'm probably listening. So, your question, yeah. Favorite character in Macross? Who's or my favorite character? In Robotech. 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 Yeah. In Robotech, it's Angelo Dante. Uh, Why? Because he doesn't take any crap from anyone. <laughs> so, here, I'm going to give you a Robotech calendar. So, right. I'm not doing that. So, thank you. All right. The glasses. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you. Book form. Oh, is there any more, you want, like, novelizations, you mean? Yeah, or like, I mean, the comic book license rights have expired. The Wildstorm deal has expired. So the rights have reverted back to Harmony Gold. There are these two companies making proposals right now to us, and we're, we're right now working on that right now as we speak. We expect a lot more information as we get further into the year. There's a lot of stuff in the pipeline I can't tell you yet. Two toys I showed you this only the beginning. So I'm going to give you a Robotech calendar. So, all right. Oh, a different one. Name. Oh, me? Yes. Okay. I know you said it's too early to talk about casting, but like, what would be your dream cast for oh, Rick? What would be my dream cast? I cannot give speculation on casting. Here's why. Opinion, your opinion. No, I cannot give my opinion oh, on this. No, no, no. oh, no, here's okay. why. Let me explain. It's a great question. Why can't I give my opinion on casting? So well, why do I need to tell who you want? Because if I were to say, I would like blank actor to play blank role in the live action Robotech movie, it'll be tweeted out today. Today, in anime Boston, Kevin McKeever announced that blank actor will be playing blank role in the live action Robotech movie. Then Sony gets angry, then everyone else gets angry, then they lock me in a room and throw away the room next to me. <laughs> so, so instead, I, I, can't, I can't even speculate. Okay. Once we know anything about the casting, we'll do it. A lot of people say, well, Kevin, why do you keep on saying it's too early in the process? Because folks, right now they're writing the screenplay. That's the focus right now. Yeah. Sony understands. Sony wants this to be like a Harry Potter style franchise. They want multiple films. And to do that, they know they have to come out of the gate and give a strong, good story with good characters. Character, character, character. So we all know what Jewish Protect was, it's exciting characters. A good story with good characters, you have a good movie. If you don't, you get Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, oh. here we go. I give you a rope to take some extra time, okay? Way in the back, over there, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Uh, what made the makers of the show uh, select the color scheme of Mabel for the color scheme of the uh, song DS1? Uh, so, don't worry, you use the F14. As an inspiration for the VF1. Oh, yes, I understand. Yeah. So, oh, the Pacific I, Squadron. The Pacific Squadron? That I, do, that I do not know. You have to ask Mr. Kelleborn that question. It's, it's, he's the one who originally created that sort of concept behind it. And I do not, to be honest with you, sir, I don't know. But to make it up to you, I'm going to give you. You ready for this? Yes, sir. I'm going to give you. Animation cell from oh. Motu to the Sentinels. No two are alike. This is an actual cell. Oh, yeah, mine's an actual cell. I was just wondering if they were all cute. Well, actually, it's too much. You're very, very welcome. Oh, now all that. Oh, yeah, wow. Way in the back. That's a great one. 
Sony has the right to approach as all you five episodes of Rotech, they can approach it from any direction they want to. That's that's the answer I can give you. So they give you a calendar. So yes, um speaking on the Max, um I've been trying to get my hands on the transformer with the SDF one. Do you guys have any plans to release something like that? Okay, question. Let me repeat the question. Do we have a plan to release a transformable SDF one? How many of you here would like to buy a transformable SDF one? Raise your hands. Okay. What if you already have one? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to buy a better transformable SDF one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Great. I will. You know that new toy license I, I, I showed you guys. You know I'm going back here. <laughs> you know, they want to make a lot of toys. I will pass along your request to them. How's that sound? Oh, that sounds that's awesome. great. Yeah. Woo! So, while you're waiting, I'm going to give you a super postal phone. How's that sound? Nice. Great question. All right. Yes, sir. What's your least favorite moment in the Robotech? What's my least favorite moment in Robotech? <laughs> yeah. No contest. Yeah. <laughs>
all four movies, all 10 hours of bonus features, available for $40. Fans will not pay $500 for, like, for successes. So we're trying to find a way to bring that cost down. We're exploring that right now. It's all we can say at this time. I, I, we want to bring it out on HD. It's just 16 millimeter film. It's just going to be very expensive to do it. So I wish I had better news for you. So to make it up for you, you know what I'm going to do? What you do to Robotech? I'm going to give you an animation stuff for the franchise. How's that sound? Okay. Sir. Yep. Yeah, um, did, did you do a post-mortem on the Academy Kickstarter, and can you share any lessons learned from that? Do a post-mortem on the Academy Kickstarter? Yes, we did. We did a post-mortem on the Academy Kickstarter. The lessons, I can't reveal them at this time. But I will say this, though. Robot Academy was a very obscure project at Harmony Gold. Very few people outside of it knew. Even though the Kickstarter didn't succeed in its funding goal, now we have outside companies that are interested in funding them. And we're going to once we get the Sony deal locked away, we're going to start talking about making more animated Robotech, including Shadow, the, the sequel of Shadow Chronicles, Shadow Rising, and Robotech Academy. We still have to finish up the Sony deal, but once that's done, then I can focus on that. So. While you're waiting, I'm going to give you a double check calendar. So here we go. All right, All right. sir. Robotech 
you will win the game. And gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry, but I'm out of the mystery box. Aww. Every time I think I can bring a bigger one, it's like, so many people show up. It was just good. Yes. mentioned earlier that Robotech is really popular in China. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea why that is? Because Robotech is popular in China because when Robotech was dubbed, a little history, this, this is a long story, but put your hands down so you can to explain it. When Robotech came out in China in 1991, it was brought over with He-Man, Transformers, and G.I. Joe. So it was told it was done for me. This is a show from America that's called Robotech. And the people who dubbed the Hollywood films into Chinese were the ones who did the Robotech dub. So Shanghai Television Station aired, in Shanghai, aired the Robotech series first, and then it just took off from there because the dubbing was so strong. And for many, many years, fans thought, oh, this Robotech's an American show. So when SDF Macross fan subs started popping up in China in the late 90s, the Chinese were like, well, Who's this Ikari Jingo guy? That's a bootleg. Harmony Girl's got to stop them. I mean, it was like they didn't understand what it was. They thought that they, they quite literally thought, well, some they're ripping off Robotech. What are they doing? So it, it was interesting because that was that was the thing because the dub was so good because they had the original they had the actors who do the big Hollywood movies doing the dub of Robotech, and it just it just made, it struck a huge cultural chord there. So if you were a kid in China and you had like a hover tank toy or a Veritech toy, all the other kids in China was like, they did the chill stairs. <laughs> that was quite okay. interesting. So, and now we're bringing, we're, we're bringing up more toys in China as well. Sir? Are you going to be making Robotech games? Yes. We will be making Robotech video games. We have several proposals. Sir? Okay, I made a mistake before. Like, Grandizer was made in 1976. Okay. So I, I was thinking, like, possibly could Robotech could they have like an influence well, on the three, grandizer? It's not Robotech. There's no Robotech in Japan. It's Mac okay. Cross, Southern Cross, and Mosquito, the original Japanese yeah. shows. Yeah. So you have to talk with the creators of those three shows oh, okay. you know, and, and ask them you know, what, what inspired them. That's, yeah. I'm not the one to answer, ask, answer that question. You have to talk to the uh, creators of the three original Japanese series. Yeah, thank you. So, any other questions? Yes, sir. Will the movie focus? I, I couldn't hear you. Would, it, um, would the movie be following like, the plot of Macross or the whole movie? Oh, you want to spoil 
disclose now. No, I, I can't. I can't. I can't tell you right now. All I can say is, all I can say is, Sony has the rights to all eighty-five episodes. They can approach it from any direction they want to approach it from. So, so, sorry. Sony has the rights. <laughs> Sony has the rights to all eighty-five Robotech episodes. They can approach it from any direction they want to do. But to add a little thing, though, as you can imagine, though, folks, when you go from a two-dimensional animation into three-dimensional live action, things are going to have to change, as you can imagine. So that's there, there's going to be some sort of change going on as, as it transitions from an animated uh, visual to a live action visual. So, sir. I have no comment at this time. <laughs> so. Sorry. All right. Any other questions before we wrap it up? Yes. Uh, I know that you say that you cannot talk about the soccer, but if there's any hope that the music can be really well related, because uh, uh, you know that Ling May uh, we will win is the main song that's going to be about today. So it's going to be together like that in the movie? Uh, I can't comment on that at this time. But I will pass along your comments to the producers. And another one. Uh, something that is really difficult for me to find is the small Lee May doll. Can someone make it available for cell phone terms? Like you want like cell phone terms? Yeah, but the thing like is. Like this? Yeah, the small, because it's really, it's really difficult. I, that's a great. I will pass that along to the appropriate individuals. And if they can put it in that sound, you know, that's. A little sound check? You seem like be, to be in love? Yes, yeah, exactly. Uh, I will pass that along to the we individuals. We have the technology now. We have the technology now. I will pass that along to the appropriate individuals. There's a lot in the pipeline. I will pass along your idea. We're working, I'm right now working on a cell phone case and cell phone accessory license. Nice. So, yes, we have a lot of things. Oh, folks, what you're seeing here is only the beginning. Nice. When I come back next year, I'm gonna be, you're going to see a flood of new robotics merchandise. That will hopefully either A be out or be out very soon. So, any other questions? Any final questions? Yeah, yes. when's the movie estimated to come out? There's no release really date set at this time. So, folks, it's been a wonderful panel. I thank you all for showing up. Please enjoy the rest of your convention and please drive home safely. Thank you very much. Woo!